Hey guys, Robocast Gaming here, and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be bringing you guys a really cool and unique tip to help you hide your loot better in unturned servers. I hope you guys enjoy the video. If you do enjoy any time, feel free to like and subscribe, and let's go ahead and get started. So to start out, I'm going to be telling you guys the materials that you need to build this. So for the basic level of protection, what you're going to need is a blowtorch, 7 metal sheets, and 3 metal bars. Now that you have your materials, what you want to do is get to 70 XP. So to do this, I recommend either killing zombies or chopping down trees. Now it can take a little bit, but don't worry, you'll get there eventually. So once you're at at least 70 XP, what you want to do is open up your skills menu by hitting U, click on the little plus sign to open the support tab, and then look for the tab that says crafting. Once you find that, what you want to do is click that twice, until you see the bar at level 2, meaning that you are now at crafting level 2, and you're able to craft the things that you need to make. What you want to do next is open up your crafting menu by hitting Y, and click on the icon with the fence on it to open up the barricade tab. Now that you're here, you want to scroll through and find a thing that says metal door frame, which should be right here, and it says that it requires 3 scrap sheets. So once you find that, what you want to do is click it, and now you have yourself a metal door frame. Now you simply want to scroll down until you see a vault door, and also craft the vault door with the rest of the materials that you have. So as you can probably tell, we now have a door frame and a vault door in our inventory. And you're probably wondering, Robo, what the heck is the point of this? Because I mean, you cannot fortify something with just a door frame and a door. But believe it or not, yes you can! You may have been able to guess this by where I've been standing this whole video, but what you want to do now is find a place that has shipping containers. Now these are multiple places around the map, they're not really that rare, so it doesn't really matter where, it's just kind of like a personal preference depending on where you want to put this. Now that you have shipping containers, what you want to do is open one, equip your door frame, and place it directly in the doorway. Now, grab your door and place it in the doorway, and now you have yourself a nice little locked shipping vault. So if I were to close this door, you pretty much cannot even tell that it's there. It's a pretty much invisible place to hide your thing. And the thing is, if people are like throwing grenades around here and just kind of like messing around, the chances are is that they're not going to be able to blow this up because they don't know it's in there. And they could just be like walking around the map, looting everything, and for the most part, people don't really seem to check these that much. So if something's in here, they're just going to walk by, act like nothing happened, and not even know that there's base in there. Sorry, that there's loot in there. So they could just like walk by, not even know, and then you just walk up behind them, open your door, and you have yourself a secure vault. Now I really don't know how I found this, I was kind of just like messing around on a server and I somehow managed to find this, but it's actually a really great way to hide chests guys, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you guys did enjoy this video, feel free to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.